High-flying businessman Brian Flannery reckons he lost the train set he was given as a child, but he can now afford something on a far grander scale. A solar-powered train capable of carrying 100 passengers at a time. It hopefully attracts people to the Byron Bay. You know, I, I think international tourists will come here to have a look at this world's first solar train. So um, let's, see. let's see, in five years' time they'll probably still say I'm mad, but, but it's a bit of fun, isn't it? It's been 13 years since a train has run on the line leading into Byron Bay. It's taken about $4 million to repair the three-kilometre stretch of track and refurbish the 70-year-old train. It was taken to Lithgow in western New South Wales to have solar panels and a battery system fitted. Basically it's uh, electric bus technology that we've re-engineered to adapt into a train. On a sunny day like today we can do about four or five trips before uh, we need to plug it in. The track from the suburb of Sunrise Beach to the town centre runs adjacent to some spectacular coastline, something not lost on those on board for this weekend's inaugural trips. So much better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, the view, ocean views from a train ride. Where in the world do you get that? It was smooth and surprisingly fast. Well worthwhile. Hope it succeeds. The alternative lifestyle capital of Byron Bay was also seen as an ideal place for a project that combines modern solar technology with the old world charm of a heritage train. Absolutely, I think uh, everyone knows that Byron's very uh, conscious about um, anything to do with the environment and it's really nice to be able to, to run a train that's zero emissions and uh, powered by the sun. But it may be premature to call it the dawn of a new era in rail travel. Longer trips would require regular recharging stations along the route, although Brian Flannery believes the technology might be suited to inner city trams. You know, a lot of the tram networks of course, have overhead uh, wires but, um, and they're, they're electric. Uh, but they have, they're powered off the grid from overhead. But uh, in a case where you, um, where you want to build a tram line without that infrastructure, um, I think you could. You, at the various stations, you could, top the, you could top the train up. A new way to harness the oldest energy source in the world.